Hi everybody, it's Kathy Gallipo again, and we're going to be taking our cabinet exercise, or what we did was called a creative bookcase. And we're going to take that exercise, and I'm going to show you how to create scenes that have the doors open and the doors closed. And hopefully you watched my SketchUp scenes, layers, and animations explanation prior to this. We do need to create layers. We need to duplicate the doors, and we need to place one set of doors in the closed position, one set of doors in the open position, and set up the scenes that way. So here's the explanation of uh, how to get that going. Um, start with your uh, bookcase that we created, and let's turn off our guides and our axes first. So we're going to go to Edit and Delete Guides. And then go to view and turn off your axes. So uncheck axes. And now we have a nice clean view of the cabinet. Then we're going to turn our shadows on. I'm going to rotate to a nice view, kind of zoom in a little bit, pan. I think I like that one. Uh, this is where I'm going to go ahead and save a scene. So um, I showed you how to save a scene with the default tray under Scenes. You just click on the Add Scene button. The other way to do it is to go to View, Animations, and Add Scene. And it's asking me if I want to save this as a new style. Since I added the shadows and did some things to my camera, we're going to go ahead and say Yes, uh, Save as New Style and Create Scene. Now I can go back to that view anytime I want. Next, we're going to add layers, and if you plan in advance, this really helps. I know that I want a layer for my cabinet, my shelves, and my doors open, and my doors closed. So we're going to create those um, four layers. I'm going to click on uh, over here in the layers tray. I'm going to click on add layer, and the first one is going to be the cabinet. My second layer is going to be shelves. Third layer, let's call that one doors open. And the fourth one, doors closed. So now that I have my layers created, I need to actually take the groups and components from my model and place them on the correct layers. As we modeled this, everything went on to the zero layer, so we need to move them onto the correct layers. We can't turn the zero layer off if it's our active layer and we want to separate everything so we can turn those doors on and off uh, separately. So first let's select the group that we made that was the cabinet portion and we are going to go up to Entity Info where it says Layer, click on the down arrow and now all the layers we created are options so we're going to click on the cabinet option and now we've moved our cabinet to that layer. One way to double check that is to go into your layers tray where it says visibility and we want to uncheck the visibility. As we do that you notice that the cabinet disappears and then if we check the visibility again the cabinet comes back. So let's leave that cabinet off for a minute and we're going to select our shelves and move the shelves to our shelf layer. So I'm going to go ahead and select each one with the control key and then uh, double check that I have three solid components chosen and they are on layer 0, the down arrow, and I'm going to now look for where I have my shelves layer option, select that, and deselect. Now I can check whether I did that correctly by going over here to my layers uh, tray and unchecking my shelves. And yes, I did that correctly, so they're going to go on and off. Now for the doors. So first, we don't. These are on the zero layer, so we want to select our doors, and we want to move them to the doors closed layer. So I'm going to go ahead and up here, select doors closed, deselect, and now if I turn off doors closed, I've turned off basically everything in my model. I don't have anything on my doors open layer. I need to create that next. So let's turn everything back on. And there's our finished model. 
Now we need to actually duplicate these doors. There's a couple of different ways we can do that. We can select them. And copy them off to the side, hitting the control key. So now we have two of the same doors. We need to select one set. And I want to make sure I'm getting everything. Um, select one set of doors. And I'm going to right click and make them unique. So now I can edit these without these other doors following the same edit. I'm going to go ahead and open these doors and leave these the closed doors. So let's um, notice that these are on the closed door layer and these are also on the closed door layer. So let's open these doors. So we double click. Select the entire door. Hold on. I need to go to a camera parallel and front view. All right, so double click select the door and now go back to perspective view Ro grab the rotate tool select your point of rotation the end of the door and open these doors notice the other ones don't open because they're a separate unique uh, component so now the doors are open I'm going to deselect them and I need to select both doors and move those to the doors open layer. Now I can turn off the doors open layer and those doors will go away. This gives me the opportunity to move my closed doors back into position. So I'm going to select the closed doors. Control key to select both. I want to orbit to a view where I can actually move them. I'm going to click the move tool, get this back corner here, and move that to this back corner. There. Deselect. So now I can check some things. I can open my door, I click on my visibility for my doors open. And so I know that I have both doors, doors closed, visibility off, and I can toggle back and forth between these two. So I know I have set those doors onto the correct layer. Now let me go back to scene one. So my entire model is going to show in scene one. What I want my scene one to show is just the doors closed. So what I'm going to do is go over to the layers and I'm going to deselect the doors open layer and then because I've made some changes to the visibility I want to right click on my scene one and update that scene now I'm going to right click on that scene and I'm going to add a new scene so now I have scene two and here's where I'm going to change my layers so for scene two I'm going to open the doors and change the vis visibility so that my closed doors are not showing anymore. Now I need to right click, update this scene, and now I can toggle back and forth from scene one, doors closed, scene two, doors open. If I wanted to move around the model to a different view, I could set that view, right click, add a scene, rotate around again, close, show my closed doors, right click, add a scene. 
Now I have this scene. Doors open, different view, different view. And this is where I could actually create an animation if I wanted to. So I could right click on or select scene one, right click, play animation. And my animation is set for two seconds and then a one second delay in between. I'm going to stop. So let's say we want to edit that animation time. Uh, click on view, animation, settings. And let's say we want it to go a bit faster, so we're going to click on one second for our transition. It's going to keep that information. Right click, play animation. Now it's going to go a bit faster through all of my different scenes. And we're all set. Hit stop. Save your file. And you're good to go. Hope that helps. Have a great weekend. Bye.